Hey guys, this is Scott of UFO Sightings Daily, and I found a body, a body that looks like an alien creature. And you can see an arm, a leg, a leg, a face, and it seems to either have a person behind it, or it's actually a crown or something. Look at that. Do you see the eye, eye, nose? You could even see two of the big teeth in the front. It has two kind of buck teeth, and it's almost smiling, like it fell into something kind of fun or funny, and or even painful. Who knows? Uh, but it doesn't look like it's good. There doesn't look good. This looks really painful and kind of excruciating. Uh, I feel real sorry for the little guy. Let me show you where I got this from. Okay, guys, this is. Gigapan Soul 440 and you have all of this to look at but what we're looking at is right here right here above my cursor right here and we're going to zoom into this location and we're going to see a rock right over here is a rock but stuck in the rock stuck in the top of this rock is a skull what looks like an arm and a leg and another leg sticking out of this rock. This object looks like it fell into this rock. It's a tiny living creature, it looks like, that got stuck inside of this rock. Uh, sort of partially fossilizing, but as you can see, there is a difference in color right here. It's darker where the flesh of the person is. I'm going to call this a person. They look human-like almost almost and uh, uh, obviously they're not but still it's quite incredible look at that let's zoom out so you can get the scope of things a little bit uh, we're right over here right in the middle of the photo and you can see a hollowed out area looks like this might have been a home or something you know how Indians used to use caves and such to live in well maybe this was the little guy's home that would fit him this size uh man it looks like it was very uncomfortable getting stuck in there and dying in it sticky rock sticky rock well it certainly wasn't molten lava it would have toasted them for sure but the thing is this is false color this whole picture is false color so when you look at it you realize oh nasa put this one in false color too they do that to quite a few photographs they really do and then you have to take a screenshot and look at it and put it in regular color again. Let's do that right now. Okay, you're looking at Photoscape X, and I already focused this for you, but I'll show you in just a second how I do it. Now, you can see really well the teeth, one, two buck teeth there, the thicker upper lip, uh, kind of a square jaw, a longer eye area. See the the eye sockets are very long compared to our, us humans and the arms the arms are thicker thicker and even the legs the legs are thicker very strange isn't it kind of cool uh, don't know if this substance got into its fingers and it has no fingers or maybe it just has one or two uh, finger appendages but this looks really extraordinary there's some kind of horn right here do you see the horn and it looks like this might be a cap or this might be back here this might be a second person in the background uh, kind of strange kind of strange and look at that look at that okay remember this is false color for false color now let's do this again for you and here we are this is the exact color NASA gives us now we're gonna come over here hit auto levels boom this is the actual color now. This is the actual color. But it's a little bit too bright. And too, too much brightness will really cause a lot of problems. Uh, it really blurs out the detail right about here. It looks like, yeah, this comparison right here is perfect. Okay, now let's zoom in a little bit on the little guy. You can see him there smiling. I really don't think he's happy about it, though and uh, let's add a little sharpening to it I don't want too much there we go perfect 
Okay, that is just amazing, guys. That is just amazing. Uh, this obviously is a fossilized creature, a fossilized animal. And to some degree, all animals have a certain amount of intelligence. So uh, is this extraordinarily intelligent or not? Is it above us, below us? Who really knows? And honestly, it doesn't really matter. The fact really matters is uh, we've identified fossilized life on Mars. That's really the significant part. And it's just undeniable in this photo. It's just undeniable. How could NASA try to cover these up so successfully for so long? Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll make more videos for you very soon. Have a good weekend.